seen Nam Kanu, most times he appeared in court in designer clothing, looking very nice and smart. But that's his I'm sure they have, they, they have seen him. So that fear should be allayed somehow because we've actually seen him in, in, in his best when he appears in court. He never s appeared as though he's been depressed or he's been oppressed or he's been maltreated. So he's, he's there facing justice. The challenges of him not uh, being, the, the decisions not being dispensed on time is generally a Nigerian problem. It is not uh, applicable to Kanu in this instance. We've seen cases that lingers in court and all of those things. That's why you see people have been clamoring for judicial reform so we can actually have, you know, justice dispensed and dispensed on time. We know for now the, the wheel of justice grinds slowly so because we are still in a system that affects everybody, not only in Namdekan in this case, we should just have to wait until we have that reform to make sure the, the judiciary is, 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 is allowed to do their job and at the time they will want to do their job. Recall that in that case, you've been seeing a lot of applications, you know, left, right and center, and that in itself would have also inhibited the, the speedy hearing of the case from the beginning. You would have seen some amendment of charges, both from the defense and the, and the, and the prosecuting counsel. You've seen application for bail and all whatnot. So those are the things that have inhibited the, the, the quick dispensation of justice regarding the Nam de Kanu case. But to say that uh, he should be released based on an advisory from the United Nations is something that I don't quite agree with Why as an that? individual. Because, you see, we, we have subjected, and of course, both parties have submitted to justice. Let us allow the will of justice to, 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 to take its course. United, Nigeria is a sovereign nation, and we have our protocols, we have our laws. How much have the United Nations, or whichever body that make that advice, been able to advise uh, those uh, juntas in the Burkina Faso? Okay, you know, because these are the these are human crimes. These are crimes that have been committed. How much of them have we heard of the the crisis in Ukraine? Mm. You know, being uh, unleashed by the Russian uh, authority. We have not seen their actions. They should come out clean to deal with those international concerns, and not the one that is being faced with the justice system. We have not heard that Nam Dikanu has been maltreated or had been dealt with in such a no, manner no, no, that no. it is not in tandem with our extant laws. What has but happened the, to Nam Dikanu is the process of justice that is going on. We saw in the Ukraine um, and, and those annexed territory where the, the Putin uh, 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 regime will, will kangaroo in a way that Amana annex a region in trying to do a referendum lasting for a few hours and so on and so forth to, you know, to give justification to his, uh, you know, unleash of terror against unarmed citizens of the Ukrainian people. So we, we should see more of the UN, UN advisory notes on those people and not on a situation where we have seen clearly that the Nigerian state is applying justice. So that's 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 when, not when, when you say the continuous detention of Namde Kano without due trial is application of justice, one begins to wonder. Nigeria is a signatory to a lot of UN protocols, and that's the grounds from which the UN is saying follow the due protocols. If you're going to try him, try him. If you're not going to try him, let him go. And that has been the question in everyone's mind. No, but you are a Nigerian, isn't the Kano not being tried? The what process was been, tried? I'm sure you have been following the news. I have been following the so, news. For instance, you, you for say instance, he's not been tried. For, for instance, no. What particular? Today, today, they, they, demand, they, de on. they demand that Namdekani should be released. No, that's How should not just, he be released? Is it not no, through no, the process no, of justice? No. What, what particular hearing in Namdekani's case has been made clearly that this is what they are pursuing? Have you Namdekani people been, open a defense to the accusations against him? What of course, saying, my cousin has been on not, this They case. have not opened a defense. What they, they have done, has been I'm on not this a lawyer, case. but I, I have followed the proceedings. What they have always done is to make applications for his bail. And those, those are the things that he's raising. for bail is, and, and then is, is also along the line of the process of judicial that doesn't stop him from having a proper hearing no but, but there's something you will you will the, 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 some of these things takes precedence but when you when you when a case is being heard you yeah. you take application these are these are things that we take precedence you will hear the application and this is one and year, be a and this is one year, more than more than a 15 months counting 
Basically, he has a hearing today. We heard he's not making an appearance for some time. I don't know if you're aware that he has been sick, said to be sick. His lawyer came out to say that the DSS are not providing him with the necessary drug he needs for his ailment. And that is another issue that is also of concern right now. So in this instance right now, like Ejimako would say, if the DSS cannot do what is needed to be done, why don't they allow them to step in to do the need for maybe buy the drugs for them? Because we are talking about Nam the kind of being in detention. If anything should go wrong with him while he's there. You, you agree with me that we'll be looking at a different case altogether. Is, is uh, 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 the barrister Ezekume the doctor? We've heard some of these uh, rhetorics. Doctors, Hold on, I listened to you clearly, but we've heard most of these rhetorics before even the, 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 the trial, so to speak, or the, the, he's been appeared, the appearance in court. That hey, Namdikani is dying. Hey, he's been oppressed under the SS uh, underground cell. Hey, he's been harmed. But when we saw Namdikani in court, we saw him in the designer clothing. You keep talking Look, about designer no, clothing. No, that's what we like, see. When he was picked in Kenya, he wasn't in rags. No, he wasn't in rags, but he was sustained in that condition. He was actually and in rags. That's his personal clothes. That is not, that is, you're sounding like designer. The federal government didn't give me designer clothes. That's his personal clothes. But he's actually living in large. He's living, living what, looking brighter. How, how, do you live, how do you live large <laughs> under detention? We've seen it. We've seen it. What did you see? What I'm saying, in essence, is that what people are talking about him being being uh, 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 that he's sick. Being, being, he's been sick. Now he's not in not, It's not within our purview to sit here and and prove or, or other, otherwise. What we see is what we are going to make our informed decision about. And I'm telling you that we've seen him that the can kind of appear in court within the times he had appeared, and he has been looking fine. All right, my people. All right. You see. Uh, you know, whenever you want to identify these people, this is how you will know them. Whenever they are running out of money, whenever they are, you know, they are waiting for the zoo, which is the Fulani, if they are looking money, they are waiting for Fulani to give them money or they are searching how to get money from Fulani, they will come with Mazen Namdekano. This is, this is how you will identify them. They will begin to talk trash. They will begin to yap and talk all sorts of rubbish from their mouth. This is how you will identify them. My question now is this. Who is this idiot now? Can somebody tell me who is this idiot? Or Hamadike of Biafra is Mazen Namdekano. Or Hamadike of Africa is Mazen Namdekano. This man that is yapping now is not even the shoe that Mazen Namdekano is putting on. He is talking about designer. And we are talking about the leader of the largest movement on this planet Earth. You see how people are just, you see how useless our people is. Do you now begin to understand the idiocy we are talking in our people or stupidity? That to show you that black people don't have inability to reason. Now, let me introduce myself. Because I don't have to talk too much. But I just want you people to understand that this man is a charlatan. He knows nothing. This man just looking for a favor from Fulani. Whenever they are looking favor from Fulani, the word they will come in their mind is Mazen Namdekam and IPOB. And we are here to defend everything. We are not going to run away from them. We are the owners of the land. The land belongs to us. And there is no how they, 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 they can do whatever they want to do. Great people, my great people. Freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, my great people all over the world. You are welcome once again on IPOB Rapture Media. Under the leadership of Mazin Nambi Okukano, where we always set the record straight. My names are Mazo Okin Naokechuku. Known as the Biafran child watching again. The general. I want you people to pay attention to this, what I want to say. I'm not going to take much of your time. It's going to be very quick. Nigeria is a signatory to United Nations Charter. United Nations has every right to tell Nigeria to release Mazin Namdekano unconditionally. Because the crime that Nigeria committed against United Nations is against human rights. 
I want to explain things to this idiot. And I will tell you people what this guy is looking for. He's looking money from Fulani people. His name is Stephen Dawara. He's from Bori River State, Biafra land. You know, whenever they want to use them, they will go and find the willing tools from our coastal region or our brother. Amodu Bello have said they stand with that number. When we can't get our people, we look for their own people. Their own people now will become a willing tools. That is exactly what this idiot is doing today. He won't feel I need to pay him. They have to talk about Mazen Nandikano. Talk about design. Mazen Nandikano have been wearing one particular clothes over one and a half years today. One and a half years. A man that have promised heaven on earth, he rejected because of his he loved his own people. Oh, Hamadi Kendi, Mazen Nandi Okano. I, you see, my royalty to you can never stop till Biafra is totally restored and beyond. It can never stop. Now, I want you people to understand this. So, I want you people to tell Stephen Awara from Boring River State if he want to be a politician analysis, he should desist from talking rubbish about Mazen Namdekano, Hamadi Kendi, Onyendu Mazen Namdekano. We are not ready to tolerate any those, any of this nonsense. He must be warned by Mazishina Samuru. He must be warned. And we are telling him that he should desist from this idiocy that is playing in him. We are not coming here to compete with anybody but we know their pattern whenever they need something from fulani whenever they are expecting something from fulani only what will come in their mind is to begin to talk about mazen namikano but this idiot have forgotten that nigeria connive with kenya and kidnap mazen namikano and rendition this mazen namikano which is only do our leader to that contraption called damine buzu and today he is in dss dungeon without any due process you see that is sometimes that is sometimes i keep on asking myself does it mean that black people don't even try to you know sit and reason and understand how things are supposed to be they went and kidnap somebody they rendition him without any document, without any due process, without going to court. And this is just is there yapping and talking all sort of rubbish because he's waiting for Fulani to pay him money. Now you understand we are facing, we are fighting different faces of war. Internal enemy, the worst one they are. Internal enemy is the worst one you can ever fight. And whenever we're done with them, Biafra will most definitely come. And I am telling them, and there's no how they can stop Biafra coming. But I'm just identifying them to you all to begin to see the idiocy in them. What clothes has to do with Mazen Namdekano? Mazen Namdekano's health is in danger. Mazen Namdekano is suffering from his heart problem. This man did not see that one. They just kept him there without bringing him to court. The man couldn't see anything. What the man is saying is something that he's just speaking out of sense. Out of sense, out of reasoning, with that common sense, he never talk about the rendition. That is the main case of United Nations. The rendition, you rendition somebody without due process. You kidnap him, adopted him, and bring him, package him, bring him back to that Nigeria. The first day he appear in the court, in the court, they cover his face and shame him. This man never talk about this thing. That will tell you we have a lot of moles and willing tools in Biafra land. And I will still repeat this. We are fighting different faces of war. I still remain your royal servant, the Biafra child, Good day and welcome.